Last night was really cool for anyone who's a big fan of NASCAR's history and Dale Jr. And we finally got to see him live out a long-term goal to not only reopen, but race at North Wilkesboro Speedway. And it was a spectacle. You know, if this doesn't prove to Marcus Smith that you don't mess with the history of the sport and that bigger, grander isn't always better, I don't really know what will because the event was a major success and I could really gush about the track and the fans all day, but I want to touch on some amazing prospects that we saw last night that weren't Dale Jr. Uh, and some amazing guys that I noticed last night that really impressed me. Uh, and these guys that we've got down in the late model series that not a lot of people you know, have heard of them, not a lot of people see them. And I just want to talk about them and talk about their performance. We all know who Corey Heim is, and he really had an off night last night, but I, won't, I don't really want to touch on him too much because we really all know what he's capable of. He, what happened last night really wasn't atoned to anything um, in his repertoire of talents, but uh, I think that it should more so speak to the difficulty of racing at North Wilkesboro Speedway. Um, I expected Heim to dominate, but it was actually Carson Quaffle who really showed the class of the field and how to get around the track. He was clearly, you know, the best car out there. Um, and, you know, having Junior Motorsports equipment helped, but Quaffle really impressed me. He showed a lot of patience. Uh, that's really kind of beyond his years, especially whenever we saw Mini Tyrell uh, take over the lead early on in the race. And Quaffle, he didn't panic. He just kept pushing his car just enough to keep Tyrell on his sights, didn't let him get too far out in front of him while he waited for Tyrell, um, who had to drive through about 10 cars to get up to the lead, uh, while he waited for Tyrell to burn his stuff up, which it eventually did, and he got back around him. And Tyrell, he's a heck of a talent. I think he has a shot at having a great career in NASCAR someday. Last night, he proved to be a wheelman to me. He made a lot of moves to get up to the front. He made a lot of impressive moves. Uh, the issue with him, though, is kind of what I think really like hurts him a lot in races that he has a chance to win, is he's running with family-owned equipment, and he really uses that stuff up. He hasn't quite figured out how to pace himself better, and yesterday was a prime example of that. I think he would have had a shot at contending towards the end, but he really rushed himself too much and ended up finishing 22nd. But try to keep an eye on him. He's very young. He still has a lot to learn, but I really think he can do it, and he'll be something when he puts it all together. Quaffle, though, he, he really did put together the complete package, and he was able to easily outduel his boss, Dale Jr., and as well as Mason Diaz on the final restarts to clinch the win. I hope Quaffle's name is at least in the conversation for that nine car next year, but if it's not, I would urge any truck or Xfinity team to try and scoop him up. Um, and speaking of Mason Diaz, I thought he did a great job managing his car all day and just progressing through the field. He held off a determined and fast Dale Jr. to finish second, and overall, I think he reaffirmed that he, he's a solid talent. I don't know if he's cup-level talent, but I think he could definitely carve a great niche in the trucks or Xfinity for a long-term career. But honestly, the guy that impressed me the most yesterday and who I'm actively keeping my radar on was Brendan Queen in that awesome old school video games car. Even had uh, Mario running around with him in the in-car camera, you could see. And I loved the car, but I was just impressed with the 24-year-old driving it. And that's, that's what I love about these lower divisions. You see great talent you've never really seen or even heard before. And he did finish 24th, but that really doesn't talk about the great day he had. He was running in the top five all day. He had some difficulty with his hood flying open near the end of the race, and that had to DNF him. But before that, he was, he was able to, you know, use up almost every lane of the track, was able to get up by just about anyone. He didn't quite have the speed, I think, to compete with Quaffle at the end, but... I think that he could have definitely got himself a podium finish. Um, it was just really impressive, and I hope he finds his way into NASCAR soon because he's he seems like he's very got a lot of stuff in his tool belt. He seems to be very good on all different types of racing. Uh, just seems like a good overall talent that I think somebody would be very lucky to get their hands on. I really love watching all these different drivers compete and analyze the different prospects. 
I hope that if this channel ever becomes more than just a passion project, I can travel to different grassroots tracks and highlight the talents we have scattered across the country at places we've never heard of. And I mean, that, that would definitely be a dream of mine, but we'll see. What do you guys think though of the race last night? Were you able to attend or watch it online? Did you like it? Were you rooting for Dale Jr.? Tell me what you think in the comments. Please like and subscribe and I hope y'all have a great day.